How's it going everyone? It's David here, and welcome back to my playthrough of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 uh, in the series of Wild World Adventure Park. Um, in the last episode, which was also the first one, uh, we built the entrance plaza as well as an elevator and staircase up to the top of a big hill and on this hill is where we are going to have the main portion of the park and I figured to get a general lay of the land how about build a roller coaster first normally I would build like a plaza first as soon as you get up to the top but we'll be doing that later instead um, I wanted to build a roller coaster going down the hillside to help greet guests as they enter the park but also doing this would also let me get a general lay of the land on where exactly I would put like a general plaza at the top with like a gift shop or food court. It's sort of like a port of entry where then you could veer off into different themed lands. But I did want to build this roller coaster first so that I could get, you know, an approximate dimension of how big I want that plaza to be before actually building it and then possibly removing stuff later on to build a coaster. Because when I first started this park, I did want to build a roller coaster going down this hillside. And I thought, what better way than to have a wooden roller coaster, which is the one I am building right here. Now, what I am building is uh, somewhat inspired by a uh, GCI, or a Great Coasters International wooden coaster, but it's going to kind of be its own thing where it will have a first drop in some main portions of the ride up on the park level, but then midway through the ride, I want to drop it down on the hillside. Um, really make it exciting and really keep the pacing moving along and um, guests will see this as they enter the park uh, this will be the first ride they see and most likely the first ride that they will ride when they get up to the top of the hill I hope this ride will add a lot of uh, kinetic energy where I will have it not only go down the hillside but also under and around the elevator and I also wanted to build like an underground tunnel where guests could see uh, the coaster coming in and out, uh, basically from under them. Um, again, it's gonna be really exciting, I feel. And I don't know if this will be the premier roller coaster for Wild World Adventure Park. Again, I'm still kind of building it as I go along. But um, so far, this is looking up, I feel, to be a really short but sweet ride. Um, And uh, like most GCI coasters, I have it with like a curving first drop. It has some levels and some high turnarounds, some airtime hills with some floater. Of course, those uh, overbank turns, this ride is chock full of that. Now, one thing I wanted to keep in mind was I wanted the ride to be like a full experience, but I also wanted it to have um, enough momentum and enough speed to get back to the top of the hill. I did not want to end the ride with a lift hill going up to the final break run. Um, so it had to be as long as it is right now. I couldn't really make it any longer. For my first test runs, the ride was just barely making it to the break run. So I wanted it to go in with a little bit more speed, make it a little bit more realistic. So I did kind of a cheat where I added a block break at the top of the hill. And the block breaks on this game, um, they're not like real block breaks where they come to stop. You can actually manipulate them and you can make trains go a little bit faster than they were before. And that's what I did. I just bumped it up by a couple miles an hour and it's, I, I think it goes in very nicely now. Now also on those initial tests, um, the ride ratings seemed a little higher than I thought, especially for the intensity. I did some tweaking trying to shallow out some hills, but this is pretty much the best I can do with what I wanted to do for this type of ride. Uh, the excitement's pretty high, which is good, and I think guests will still ride it. 
Um, again, I'm not trying to go for a more performance-based park based on like park ratings and stats on well, basically how you're supposed to play this game. I want to make it uh, somewhat realistic. And uh, this is the best I could do, and I still think it turned out pretty okay. Right now I am terraforming, making it um, a little bit more smooth around so it's not all blocky and grid-like. It has more of like a rolling hills or cut through hills. And um, it turned out pretty well. There's this one little corner I couldn't quite get, but I can cover that later with some shrubs and trees later so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Right now I'm just putting in some finishing touches uh, to the hillside and to the ride. I'm calling the ride Tiger Terror. Um, because this is a zoo of Buseman Park hybrid, I am of course going to have a tiger exhibit nearby and I will most likely have like an Asian themed area of the park um, near around this ride. I wanted to add some touches for um, a station as well as a brake run shed. 
um, for a lot of these uh, GCI coasters there is a separate building for the brake run shed as well as for the transfer track I wanted to add that I actually had to add a second non-functional wind coaster next to it to give it that transfer track look to it, it it's not functional but um, it does look pretty good in my opinion so after some sprucing up um, recoloring the ride giving it a name I feel like our very first roller coaster at Wild World Adventure Park is really coming along I hope it's not too intense but I don't think it'll be too much of a problem um, it, it's gonna give a really nice first impression I feel and it was uh, pretty exciting to build this actually so now after this I next plan on building like a like a center hub before going off into the different themed lands with gift shops and eateries and stuff like that. But um, this coaster will be the first major attraction guests will encounter, and I don't think it's a bad attraction at all. And before I end the video, I'm going to show you a quick POV of Tiger Terror. So anyways, what do you guys think of Tiger Terror, this GCI inspired wooden coaster that will interact with the front of the park? Um, again, I am always open to more suggestions that we can add on to this uh, exciting project. So anyways, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you like it and subscribe for more content. And with that being said, thank you all for writing, and I'll see you next time.